Who, who, who? I'm a hillbilly. Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Just Carve the Eagle. Just Carve Rob. Okay. So where are we at here? All right. Uh went outside to the belt sander and I sanded, sanded, did a little more sanding. So this is basically what we're coming up with for more of a native style carving. Put some pencil in here so you guys can see it. Okay. This is his little breather hole again here. Gets a dot there, gets a dot there. That's his nose, I guess. Okay. Uh, lower lip is right here. And then we still have to cut it in on this side. So it goes up, down, back up, and back down. And then around, like that. That's his lower lip there, guys. Okay, so you can see we left the beak much thicker than our other bird. Yep, much thicker. Okay. Um, I drew where the stick goes in there, so we don't want to accidentally carve that away. Because that's, that's a nice tight fit. We've got that all scribed in. It's looking pretty good. So now we got to come back and separate our lower lip from our upper lip. And this is pretty much the uh, same thing Jordy's been showing me. Uh, get ready for a video from Jordy. On how to carve a native eagle. Because I, I'm thinking he uh, filmed it for us. So, okay. So we're going to get back in here. And we're going to use our combination of our one inch knife. And our diamond flame burr. So, I think I can go ahead and cut this in without having to turn on the vacuum and everything and show you guys what we're doing okay ouch sorry about that so we just have to plunge our knife blade in be careful don't put any side pressure on it or else you might chip this edge right off where his, his mouth is going to be Okay, you can see we drew a line right here. So we're just going to take a nice light cut here. And then back up, like that, and then out. And we should be able to come back in here this way. And undercut that, like that. So that made our stop cut and then we just have to come back and clean it up something like that and it should look something like that side 
And we still have to take this, uh, still have to take this down a little bit here, like we did on the other side. Something like that. And that gives us his lower lip and the upper part of his beak. Okay. Looks like we did a little whoop de doo on this end that we didn't do on this side. Guess we might as well go ahead and put that in there too, right? that come back in with our knife take that little piece out right there like that our beaks looking in pretty good shape here just have to go back and uh I'm just using my knife to feather this edge out here, guys. So when I was shaping the, I guess you'd call it his nose, because that's where his holes go. Um, with the diamond burr, it dug in a little bit. So just kind of going back with my knife and feathering all that out okay like that I was kind of holding off on carving this today um, until I see Jordy's video but I'm just kind of going with the the pictures that he's been sending me today I think it's coming out all right. Yeah, poor Jordy had to work uh, third shift last night. And uh, I asked him, I said, hey, can you make a video of how you do your native eagles? He's like, I don't know, eh? You might be too tired. I worked third shift last night. And then, uh, he got home, he sent me a text. He's like, yeah, I'll do it for you. So, thank you, Jordy. Thank you so much for doing it. I know you weren't happy about doing it. But he did an awesome job, guys. The, the pictures that he sent me um, when it was done, awesome job. That's one of his better eagles, I think. Maybe he should carve more often when he's tired. The things you got to do for friends, right? Work all night long, and then you get some guy from the U.S. saying, Hey, man, can you carve me an eagle head so I can see how to do it? I know that was probably the last thing that, that he wanted to do this morning. He probably just wanted to go home, have a sandwich or something, 
put on his Cookie Monster pajamas and go to bed. But nope, he went home and he carved us a native eagle. See that, Anthony? You don't have to take great big honking cuts, especially on like, uh, this is poplar, okay? So, this is a pretty hard wood. It's a, uh, it's a good carving wood. I like it. Um, not as much as I like basswood, but hey, this is a good carving wood too. I think uh, Mario, Mario Tata, Tatas. He's got a YouTube channel too, guys. Um, he carves a lot of poplar. He goes to Lowe's, and they sell this in round dowel, and they also sell it in square. And uh, I think he said he buys the square stuff and then cuts it. You know, you can get it like two by two square and four feet long. So you can make a lot of uh, a lot of things out of a piece of two by two, right? Hey, look at this. We got Rock of Ages, Hillbilly. Yubba dubba doo. And then I've been working on... Ha <laughs> ha! Look at this guy. I've been carving myself, guys. Just carve Rob, carving, just carve Rob. So, yeah, we got to finish him up. Just carve Rob. Carved. But just carve Rob. See, we're going to put something in his hand here. Probably a fishing pole or something. And then this is our buddy, Rock of Ages. Yabba dabba doo! That's what he always says at the end of his videos. So, we got them two guys hanging out over here. Swapping uh, hillbilly stories. <laughs> Got them sitting up there on the wood burner. Talking to each other. <laughs> Carrying on. No moonshine involved yet, though. No moonshine involved yet. It could happen later today. Okay, so our eagle is roughly shaped out now. Jordy would say that he's blocked in. Our eagle is all blocked in now. So it looks like we have to go a little bit deeper on the other side with his mouth. His lower lower jaw. Yeah, th this side's got to go in actually quite a bit deeper. So we're going to go ahead and use the Dremel for that. Um, let's get this cut in here. And we'll probably use the Dremel. We're getting set up for our eyes right here. So we have to draw them in yet. And uh, maybe flatten this out some more right here. See, I'm going the wrong way with the wood. I don't think we want to go much more flatter with this. don't think so. I think that's about as flat as we want to go with that. Yeah, we'll flatten this side out a little bit more too. Wow, this side's harder. Ooh, we're into some weird grain there, guys. You can see it. See that? It's, that's strange. It's like a hard spot, though, too. We'll get that. Get that flattened out a little bit more. That looks that looks pretty good. Come back over here. Get that top a little bit. Big difference though in cutting this side over here is a lot much much harder. I don't even know what you'd call that, split grain or something. Okay. That's looking uh, pretty even on both sides. Okay. Uh, we don't want to get into that circle, remember. 
want to stay away from our circle there. So uh, we could actually call that good. I mean, for a walking cane, but we don't do that here at the Just Carb Rob studio. We're going to get the eyes put in and all that stuff. And then we'll work on shaping this handle down here and uh, putting our little ball on the back there. I don't know if we were going to get to all that today, but this is what we got so far, guys. Okay, so I'm going to fire up the Dremel, get this cut then down in there deeper with a, a diamond bit. So, uh, let's get that going. Okay, guys and gals. Um, we sped this video up a little bit. Because we were running way over, way over the 15 minutes. We're like 30 minutes. So, we had to speed it up a little bit to cut it, cut our time frame back a little. You know how it is. But, uh. Not quite two times the speed. A little less than that because I still want you to be able to follow along with me. And what we're doing there is we're cutting that mouth in deeper. Okay. And we're going to go over the uh, up there where the breather thing is. His nose. I don't even I don't. I'm sure there's a special name for it. I don't know what it's called. If you guys know, let me know what that's called. I call them as bird snot holes. That's where they go. So we're just going to take the diamond and round things over and sand things off and get stuff fitted the way it should be fitted in there. It's been fun. Took a lot of time today to get that handle uh, scribed to fit into the, I guess the cane handle, you know the 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 stick part shaped into the handle part, that mortise and ten tenon tenon not tendon tenon joint. Uh, yeah, when when you're uh, scribing stuff in like that it can take a little bit because it's like a back and forth back and forth back and forth as you're fitting the uh handle down into it so but it was an experience it's been a long time since i've done any any of that uh the other walking cane i made i didn't do the scribe i just uh tapered it up to the tenon, 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 not tendon, tenon joint. And then glued it and pinned it and all that good stuff. Okay, we got some uh, knife marks on the bird nose hole thing. So we're kind of flattening it out with the Dremel a little bit. And then we're rounding that over up on top. Uh, it's a pretty sharp edge right there. Nothing you'd want to run your hand over. So that's the other thing. When you're making things that you're going to walk with, you got to make sure that everything is nice and smooth so your hand don't get bit. You know, you don't pick up a splinter or something like that. So you want to make sure everything's sanded nice and smooth and rounded over. We'll spend some time with our stick sanders, different grit stick sanders. Uh, I guess we call it fleshing it out, sanding it down. So it's time for a new flame burr diamond. This one is getting quite war. Yeah. So 
So it's going along pretty good here. He's coming out not too bad. I think this will work. I left the beak a little extra thick, so uh, if he gets dropped, it shouldn't break. Um, you know, and we're gonna we're gonna put this. We're gonna use uh, some Mod Podge to, to uh, seal this too, guys. We're gonna water it down a little bit so the grain of the wood kind of drinks it in. So then that way there, it'll get soaked into it. And that will also help strengthen the wood so it doesn't want to break. Just take the Mod Podge and water it. First coat, you water it down so that the wood can actually suck it in. So we're running up on the end of this video, guys. Um, I think this is going to be it for the day. It's getting kind of late. I think it's time. It's I think it's time to go have a drink and uh, some dinner and call it a day, guys. All right. So uh, yeah, make sure you uh, stay healthy, stay safe, stay home. Unless you absolutely have to go out and get some food or something. Uh, I know around me, there is no sense in going out because nothing's open. Everything that, uh, I, I want to go do is closed. So that pretty much, uh, is self-explanatory. There no reason to be out on the roads. Uh, there's nothing going on unless you're going out in the woods or going fishing or something. All right. Uh, I guess we'll call this video done and share subscribe and like and we will catch you all on the next one be awesome guys carve something awesome every day and this is just carve rob saying just carve special thanks to jordy johnson for helping us out with this eagle head and we will catch you guys on the next one all right stay cool stay awesome bye